There's also a photo online of it looks like you as a as a ball boy for Zagreb and you're you're mm. kind of chasing after Steven Gerrard. I wanted to know is that you? Um, no, it's also, not me. It's not. Is it not? No, it's everybody not you. is telling me, but it's not me. It's not. Me. I knew it was. I, I, I thought it. I thought it. I thought no, it. No, but fair enough. Me, okay. Welcome back to Chelsea Unscripted, ladies and gentlemen. As always, joining me is my partner in crime. It's Savage Dan. How are you doing, mate? I am great after yesterday's result. Oh. Obviously, for all of those watching at home, we are recording this the day after making it into the Champions League final. We are all ecstatic. I've got the badge on. So it's brilliant. You. It's brilliant. However, we will chat about that after we speak to our guest today because it is none other than Mateo Kovacic. It's also yes. his birthday as well. Chelsea's player of the season last year. What a player he is, Dan. Honestly, just a complete revelation. I, I was quite surprised when Real Madrid let us have him uh, off the, off, from the loan deal it, and into, I, a permanent, uh, into a permanent deal. Gosh, all over the place. But it's... um. Honestly, he has been so quality. I call him unpressable. He really is. You try and yeah. press him and you're just going to get skipped past. He can do it all. He can pass. He can dribble. He's tenacious. He can tackle. Um, he's, yeah, ridiculous player. Lost the word sometimes when watching him. It's, it's his birthday today, as we said, and he's only 27. Yeah. He's only 27. We've got mm-hmm. so many more years to watch him play football for Chelsea. But without further ado, let's talk to him. So here we are then. We are delighted to be joined by Mateo Kovacic. The day after Chelsea confirmed their place in the Champions League final. And not only that, it's also Mateo's birthday. Dan. Hey! Happy birthday, Happy Mateo. Happy birthday, Mateo. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, mate. Yeah. How are you doing? Good. The guys gave me an amazing uh, birthday uh, gift because... I'm still a little bit injured, so I'm recovering, but they did an amazing job yesterday and thanks to the guys because it was an unbelievable game. You missed, obviously, both legs against Real Madrid. Um, what was it like? Nerve-wracking? Is it is it harder watching the game than playing the game? <laughs> yeah, I hate to watch it. <laughs> I hate to watch games because it's, it's not easy. It's easier to play, but yeah, I needed to be the support yesterday to watch and... Uh, thankfully, it was nice to watch. Not, I was not nervous because they did an amazing job. I mean, as we said, we're now in the the Champions League final. You've been there before. Mm-hmm. Is it? How do you think you boys are going to be feeling up towards it? I mean, it's now against Manchester City. We know the opponents. How do you think all the all the boys, the team? Because it's quite a relatively young squad as well. You're probably one, more of one of the mo- more experienced players uh, in there. How do you think everyone will be uh, preparing for it? Yeah, it's we are a young squad and it's obviously an amazing achievement, but we still haven't done nothing. We didn't want anything yet. So I think we need to obviously we celebrated yesterday after the game, but we, we take it we take it easy because we have Saturday another important game. So we need to prepare to be ready for, for the top four and to fight for the FA Cup final and then with with calm prepare a big final on the 29th so it's it's still a lot of time until there and I think we are all calm because we know that we haven't achieved anything for now. Mateo we're in the the, the final stages of a crazy couple of seasons mm. here um, lots and lots of football you've played an incredible amount of games how do you feel having to play so many games in, in such a short space of time? Yeah it's, it's difficult in the end the injuries they, they come like in my situation as well, many games, uh, a lot of traveling, and obviously, yeah, the, the body sometimes suffers. But yeah, we, we enjoy to play games. We love it. It's a lot, but what can we do? We This is our job and we love to do it. So yeah, it's it's nice. And obviously, it's even, even better when you arrive at the end of the season and you play for some trophies and you are there to, to try to win something. I uh, I heard yesterday that when when you were watching the game in the stadium, you were you were quite loud. You were you were supporting them. Uh, the the bond within this Chelsea group within the players seems so strong. Uh, is, is, has everyone just got each other's back? I guess all the time. Yeah, it's it's amazing because we have a, a good mixture between young players, young talents, and some experienced players. So it's it's a great bond. We are a great group, and I think you see that on and off the pitch. 
obviously when the result is so good it's it's much easier <laughs> so yeah it's 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 a strong group and we need to continue like that because i think this group has still a lot to achieve and in the coming years we need to win as, as many as uh, possible trophies because we have a very strong team We've got a, a big run in with Chelsea. We've got FA Cup finals. We've got Champions League finals. We've got a top four push. But even away from that, we've got the, the Euros coming up and you're, you're playing in one of the best midfields in the world, if it's I not have too to bad. be honest. It's yourself. Yeah. You've got Modric. You've got Rakitic. There's, there's loads of you, talented, talented midfielders. How does it feel to play internationally with so many good quality players? And who plays with who in training? How do you sort that out? <laughs> the coach sorts this out. We are, we don't we don't uh, we cannot uh, ask for anything. Yeah, it's amazing because I think in the last years Croatia has come with uh, some big players, big talents, and we did some amazing results. And I think first of all I need to finish the season with Chelsea. I hope with two big trophies, and then to concentrate on on the Euros, obviously, because it it will be a big tournament. First game against England. So yeah, we. <laughs> to show ourselves and I hope we will do a great tournament. I mean, it's, it said that you were a, uh, a fan of, of Modric growing up and so it must be quite incredible to, uh, to, to play with him and be a friend, mm -hmm. be friends with him. I mean, he, he played against us yesterday and in that Real Madrid team, he was probably one of their best players. He's an incredible player. What's it like, uh, I guess, being a fan of someone and then now just being mates and, and playing next to them in midfield for your country? Yeah, it's, it's incredible because I think Luca is... Um, a golden ball as a person and a golden ball as, as a player as well. So his achievements are incredible. And yeah, I was a fan of him when I was 10. He played already for the first team. And then, yeah, I started to play the national team. Then I came to Real Madrid. We become big, big friends. And yeah, the friendship is until now. So it's it's a friend for life for me. And yeah, it's it's amazing to, to play with him and to, to have him in, in Croatia. You also played with uh, Zanetti towards the end of his career. And you're doing the same with Thiago Silva. Are there any similarities that you see between the two and how they prepare and, and how they how they live their lives? Because good, they seem good, to be able to go on forever. Good question. Good question. Yeah, it's they're similar because the, Zanetti was a little bit older. He was 40 when I played with him. But they are both big, big professionals. They are so experienced. So when you see them play, they are so calm on the ball, especially Thiago in, in the back. So two big, big players and I think yeah, Thiago hasn't won the Champions League that he so much deserves, deserves as, as a player because he's done amazing in his career. So I hope this will be like a, a big gift for, for him and for his, for his career. Oh, fingers crossed, mate. I can't, I can't yeah. wait. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know how we're going to be feeling, let alone you guys when we're playing in it. Um, there's also a photo online of, it looks like you as a, as a ball boy for Zagreb and you're, you're mm. kind of chasing after Steven Gerrard. I wanted to know, is that you? Um, no, it's also, not me. It's not Is it not? No, it's everybody not is telling me, but it's not me. It's not me. I knew it was. I, I, I thought it. I thought it. I thought no, it. No, but fair enough. Me, okay. Well, there we go. We, we put that one. We put that one. That's there, the best. But, I, I, but I would love to have his shirt because he was a big player. was a big player. Was he one of the players that obviously, because growing up in, in Croatia and that, was he one of the players that you kind of looked on a base your game? Was there a few players? I guess Frank Lampard was around that time as well, playing for Chelsea. You know, I'm not really the type of player as Frank Lampard and... and Steven Gerrard and kind of different players. So like my idols were obviously Luca, uh, Iniesta, Xavi. These are like my my preferences. But obviously the other two guys were amazing and they were just amazing at scoring goals. So it's they had big careers, obviously. Off the pitch, you seem to have a very good relationship with Antonio Rudiger, um, <laughs> who we've actually got next on this show. Is there anything we should be asking him that? the fans won't expect that he won't expect no, any secrets don't. he's a big personality no, he seems no, like everyone he loves expects, him he expects everything so you cannot surprise him it's difficult to surprise him tony is a tough guy when you see him he, he seems tough on the pitch and outside the pitch but with me he has some problems so yeah we are <laughs> <laughs> no, no, oh. we are big we are very good friends we speak obviously german so we are our families also they are they they see each other sometimes so he's a big friend of mine and i'm happy that i have him in the squad because he's a big 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 personality for for mm -hmm. this club 
you, you speak a, a lot of languages. You just mentioned there German, you obviously speak English. Uh, how, how many languages do you know? Do you find it quite easy just to, to pick up languages now? Yeah, because I was born in Austria, so I learned German quite easily. Then Croatian, obviously, in school English. Then I went young to Italy and then to mm. Spain. So it's like, the I don't know, the languages come, it comes easy. I speak uh, five and now I have the opportunity here because all the players, they come from the countries that I speak. So I can quite speak with everybody, which is uh, <laughs> a good thing because they cannot talk about me in my back. So I <laughs> <laughs> that must have been that must be really good, though, I guess, when, when the players join, especially in the summer. So many coming from so many different places. I guess you could have, like, connected everyone. Did that kind of Yeah, matter? yeah, because uh, obviously two German guys came, Kai and Timo, so you can help them because it's not easy to come to such a big club and to such an and tough league and they adapted I think quite well now they are playing better better they are obviously the future of this club especially Kai because for me Kai is an unbelievable talent and I think he will be a great great player for Chelsea and for for football in general we've had a lot of time at home recently um what have you been watching have, have you or are you more of a gamer do you like to play play the PS4 Five? No, no, no. Five PS5 out? No, no, no. I, I'm playing PS4. I don't have even the PS5. Um, ah. So, no, I'm just playing sometimes with my friends FIFA, but this is this is really rare. Now I have a son, seven months old, so it's, it's difficult to, to play games and to watch a series. But yeah, when when he goes to sleep, me and my wife, we watch sometimes some movies. and But more relaxed, we like to go to walk with the son, to enjoy with our family, with our small family for now. and most important thing in life. Ah, oh, that's, that's actually, that's, that's really sweet. That's yeah. really sweet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's, it's adorable. Um, I'm trying my best. It's, it's your birthday today. I was wondering whether like, do you, does Chelsea have any like tradition? Do you, do you have to bring in cakes for everyone? What is, what's the kind of traditions at Chelsea? I, when for, it's I forgot, I forgot. Oh, yeah. you forgot to bring the cakes? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, bring, they bring some donuts, yeah, sometimes. Oh, no, I forgot, but yeah. Better, better, because they need to prepare for Saturday, so better yeah, without Indeed, donuts. true. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, we can't have too many donuts, and diet has to be uh, quite strict Sweet. when we're going into the end part of the season. What is your favorite food to order, though? What do you end up do? Do you end up doing Deliveroo, Uber Eats? You know, uh, I I like to work a lot. I'm I train a lot, and after and before and after training. But with the food, I have sometimes some problems because my wife is cooking as well, very good, and mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's not easy to. I like sweets a lot, but so do I. The, I love sweets. Oh, oh, yeah. Honestly, Mateo, I promise you, Dan is ridiculous. I'm addicted, Mateo. Mm -hmm. After the game yesterday. It's, it's 11 o'clock, I'm at home, I should go to sleep. And I but think to myself, no, I'm going to the shop. I went to the I shop, two feeling, packets I of know, Haribos are gone. Now <laughs> no, I feel bad. I and when I, was, when I was younger, a lot of Coca-Cola, but in the last years, I, I stopped it really. I'm trying to be more obviously better with the food because it's important. So yeah, I'm trying my best. My wife is helping me with that. So yeah, I hope uh, <laughs> I will be better this year. <laughs> we, I mean, we, we all hope. We're, We're trying. trying. I'm it trying. It never to. normally works out that well. Um, okay, then. Well, because obviously back in your time in Italy, you were known as uh, Il Professor. I hope I got the pronunciation right. Uh, it's so good, we good. wanted to know, uh, obviously in English that means the professor. And so mm -hmm. we wanted to know uh, what one of your teammates would be, or what they would be in the classroom. <laughs> The first question is, which teammate would be the class clown in the Chelsea classroom? There are some candidates, there are some players. <laughs> but but uh, the laugh and how he is every day, I think Zuma is such Cal a lovely yeah, guy. Makes sense. I, today when I came in the dressing room, he was the first one that I saw and he was singing already to me, happy birthday. So <laughs> such an amazing person and yeah, he would be like, but not a clown. He's just yeah. so lovely and uh, always with a smile. So maybe it's not the right word, but like yeah. the, big, the smiling character of the team is Kurt Zuma for sure. It's because he's, he's called Happy. Uh, his middle name That's is it. Happy, yeah. Yeah. He, yeah, he needs to be happy, obviously. Exactly, obviously. exactly. Who would be the player that is the one that doesn't stop talking? I, I talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you can say you... 
I reckon there's quite a few, you know. I think I think like Tammy as well seems like he talks. Oh, Tammy, Tammy, oof, Tammy as well. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Tammy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tammy likes to talk. Yeah, there, there are a few of us, few of us. But it's more like a joke. We like to joke around. It's and as I said before, when the results are good, everybody obviously is talking, and it's it's nice. So there is not a specific player about talking. So all of us, all of us. Who would be like the geek then? Is anyone is anyone really into their like technology? Loves their computers? Is there anyone like that? I know the young players they like to play games a lot, like Mucic, Kai, Mason. I I think so. I really don't know, but I would put one of the young players, obviously. Maybe I know Pulisic likes to play, so yeah, I would. Maybe he is the like PlayStation freak. Let's let's say. But <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> Who would be the teacher's pet? Whoa. Aspie. Like, I'm thinking like, Aspie. Like the favorite of the yeah. Yeah. No. The, no. Yeah. 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 yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the favorite. Yeah. Depends on the teacher, obviously. Depends on the teacher, but now it's it's a new coach and yeah, he likes all of us. I think we are all like, but obviously the captain is is the captain and Aspie, but not because. I don't know because he deserves it because he's professional, a guy that we should look up to because he's so many years at Chelsea and doing amazing things. And yeah. Last one, Matteo. I have to ask Go this on. one. Which one would be the one that's always talking to the girls? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Me not because I'm married. Yeah, yeah. Me not. So there are many married players. But oh, now I. I don't need to make a mistake because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's and, and, and who not? I think it's hypothetical. Ah? Huh? It's not real. It's just a classroom. Oh. <laughs> He's being said. I would put English, English for sure, English player. <laughs> I don't know, but maybe Billy Gilmore, Ben Chilwell. Billy Gilmore, Ben Chilwell. Chilly. We'll take it. We'll work out first if, if they're single before putting this out. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think then, yeah. they're, I'm pretty sure they're single. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, um, mate. Well, thank you so much for your time, Matteo. Uh, thank again, you, guys. Happy birthday. I hope you have a great birthday. And thank you. <laughs> the boys aren't too angry without the donuts. And we wish you the best of luck for the rest thank of you. the year. Thank nice you. Nice to talk to you. Have a good day, Matteo. Well, how good was that? How Quality. great was Matteo Quality. Quality. Can't believe you can speak so many languages. <laughs> it puts me to shame. It really does. But we spoke about it in there, the Champions League final. What a season Chelsea could be having. We've got a, we've got a battle for the top four currently mm -hmm. going on. We've got the FA Cup final happening. And now the Champions League final. Yeah. Uh, at the beginning of the season, you know, I thought that was a dream. Now it could be a reality. Well, do you know what's so crazy? I, I think as Chelsea fans, we've had ups and downs this season. We started very optimistic. Um, and we had almost a bit of a spring in our step and then around the Christmas period, it started to, to almost fall apart a little bit and it now looked like we were, we were gonna struggle to make top four. Now we're back in the race. We've got a, a bit of momentum, FA Cup final, Champions League final. It is, it's ridiculous, you know, it is, we've got a cup double on the cards and a top four finish. And it, it just feels like there's a lot of togetherness. But also we're playing incredible football. Yeah. Everyone is scared to come up against. If I'm Manchester City right now, watching what we did to Real Madrid, watching what we did to them in the league. I mean, we're going to play them this weekend. We mm -hmm. would have already played them when you're seeing this. So I'm not too sure what the result is in that. But we are, we, we are playing dominant football. We are dominating games and teams that come up against us are scared to play against us. I mean, I saw the Tony Cruz comments beforehand. Uh, uh, Mount mentioned it after the game that, oh, there's not an individual player I, I lose sleep over in that Chelsea squad. And then Mount, the, well, after the game against Real Madrid in the second yeah. leg, came out and said, well, there might not be an individual one, but you should probably lose sleep about us. Well, do you know what it is? We've got such an energetic team and I, I don't want to take much credit for it. But I'm sure you guys remember when I suggested going three at the back. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And it, it seems to work a treat. We look um, solid at the back. We are also breaking ridiculously. So when we are on the attack, you pretty, you near enough have to be an, uh, an, an athlete, like a 200 meter sprinter to keep up with us. We are really flying. We've got Werner flying through channels, Mount Kante all over the place. I, I don't even know what that heat map looks like. And it is, it's been a, a, a theme of our attacks and, and how we defend under Tuchel. We are 
we're at the moment we are pretty unplayable. I fancy us against absolutely anyone. We are one of at the moment the best teams in the world. Only the best get to the final of the Champions League, and mm -hmm. I am so excited. No matter what happens, touch wood, fingers crossed that we win the Champions League final, the FA Cup, and get into the top four. But no matter what happens, what a season it's been so far for Chelsea, and it could get even better. It's, it's never a dull moment. Put, put it that way. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's ups yeah. and downs, but it's never <laughs> dull. Uh, and, and to be fair, you know, out of all the uh, previous seasons, we're always fighting for something. So it's, um, it's, it's exciting. If, if nothing else, it's very exciting being a Chelsea fan. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. We're going to be nervous. I know every Chelsea fan watching this is going to be nervous. But what a time to be a Chelsea fan. It's what we live for. However, that is the end of a show. What a play Mateo Kovacic is. And we will be speaking to Tony Rudiger next. So if you've got mm -hmm. any questions that you want us to ask him, get them in the comments below. What a, what a personality he's going to be. I actually can't yeah. wait for that. If you've enjoyed this show, then make sure you click the like button because that's how you show you've enjoyed it. And subscribe to the Chelsea YouTube channel so you never miss any Chelsea content. Savage Dan, my friend. Say goodbye to the lovely people at home. Goodbye, guys. Let's go and win the Champions League. <laughs> Let's do it.